Bears fans, it's time to talk about what we've been wanting to talk about since even before the season began, which is Justin Fields is making significant progress. And you love to see it. I'm going to break it all down for you guys in just a moment here. But before I do that, if you are new to the channel, what is going on, y'all? Boss Sports all back at it with another video talking some NFL and here to talk about our beloved Chicago Bears and the QB1, Justin Fields, who looks to be uh, breaking out, if you will. So uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button, people. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms, season long Bears coverage right here, right now. Keep it locked and keep it tuned here. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Let's get into it. All right, folks, look, Justin Fields is stacking together good performance after good performance. All right, this is exactly what we wanted to see from Justin Fields. This is all the season was about, right? Not the wins, not the losses, not the other players, not the coaches. I'm sorry. I'm just being frank. It was about QB1 and nothing else. Yeah, the other things maybe matter a little bit, but not as much as QB1. And lo and behold, Justin is showing signs of significant progress. Just how significant? I'm going to get into that right here right now throw so, so a couple numbers here for you guys but again don't get too bogged down in the numbers but they are important because they show you the tangible progress right not just the eye test which again he's been looking good there but also the tangible progress so if i told you for instance sunday against the cowboys was the best game of justin fields's young career would you believe me maybe maybe not but it was because he had 120 passer rating which is a career high he completed 74% of his passes, passes, which is our career high, and he also had three total touchdowns, two passing, and a rushing. Okay? Best game of his career by far, based off the numbers. Now, through 12 games in his rookie season, Justin Fields had seven passing TDs, two rushing TDs, and 10 interceptions. Now, remember, he didn't play a full season his rookie year. He didn't start, and then he got hurt at the end. So through 12 games, seven passing TDs, two rushing TDs, 10 interceptions. Through eight games this year, Justin Fields, seven passing TDs, three rushing TDs, and just six interceptions. All right, so you're seeing the progress. Now, again, these numbers aren't blowing you out of the water, but baby steps, right? Take it step by step. Justin Fields, in even taking a look at those numbers, you could tell that Justin Fields had a couple of things not go his way, a bunch of bad interceptions. Darnell Moody comes down with that catch against the Commanders. That's another touchdown. Like, you know, so there's a bunch of those in there. But overall, on pace for 15, 16 touchdowns, right? Double the number of games. We got 17 this year. And through eight, he's got this much. So 14 to 16 touchdowns passing, uh, five to six rushing touchdowns, and then probably, you know, 12 to 13 uh, interceptions, if you will. But if Justin Fields overall on the season finishes with 20 total touchdowns and like 10 interceptions, I'll take that. I'm happy with that. Because to me, again, it will show significant progress. And keep this in mind here, people. Two things that I need you to focus on, okay? We're talking about these numbers, which again, don't maybe don't look that impressive, but compared to what Fields put up in his rookie season, yeah, they are. Keep these two things in mind. Number one, the defenses Justin Fields is doing this against is more impressive. The fact that we went up against the Dallas Cowboys with a ferocious pass rush, and they also have a good secondary, and Justin Fields did that, that just makes you feel really, really good about his development. And then also against the Patriots, Bill Belichick, you know what he does to young quarterbacks, and the fact that Justin Fields had that game that he did against him gives you even more hope about his development okay so this isn't happening against teams like the texans or these other bad teams you know if you will uh this is happening against good defenses okay that's number one keep that in mind and number two more importantly is he's doing this with what around him mooney and nothing else right yeah yeah the running backs are good i love monty and, and herbert but we're talking about the pass catchers here Give, give me Stephon Diggs. Give me Tyreek Hill. I promise you, Justin Fields is putting up better numbers than this. All right, I promise you. And so 
The fact that he's doing this with guys like Equinemia St. Brown, Dante Pettis, no offense, I'm sorry, but these guys wouldn't be starting on other teams. That gives you more hope for the development. So Justin Fields is making significant progress. This is exactly what we were hoping for, man. Stacking good performance after good performance. Win, lose, or draw. Don't care about the outcome. You just want to see progress from QB1, and he's just going up and up. And so I love it. He started off the season slow, and he's getting better and better. Uh, so the biggest credit obviously goes to Justin. But the other thing, too, is the play calling has been incredible. You know, you love to see the play calling from Luke Getze to finally build an offense and a play call uh, structure around the strengths of Justin Fields. And honestly, folks, I'm so excited because Justin Fields has made the Bears an entertaining team. It's just in the last two weeks, you know, we put up 33 points and then 29 points. Like, when's the last time that happened? When's the last time we lost a game because the defense couldn't stop anything and our offense was putting up points? Like, it's such a breath of fresh air. So, I, I'm hyped. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see it too. The tangible progress here. The numbers show it. So, everything's lining up here, man. You just want Justin to keep doing this over and over again. And by the way, just want to point out. Take a look at what the other quarterbacks from Justin's draft class are doing, right? Zach Wilson doesn't look very good right now. Matt Jones, benchable. Trevor Lawrence, still struggling. Uh, Trey Lance is hurt, obviously. And yeah, Justin, to me, probably the best one out of that class in terms of how he's playing right now. Just saying that. Uh, but uh, yeah, folks, look, I'm so excited uh, to see uh, Justin keep, you know, stacking these good performances and, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see here. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, look, the progress is real. If anyone tells you that's not, refer them to this video or use the points that I'm telling you guys because the progress is real. Justin is improving. And I gave you a bunch of numbers, but even just the eye test, right, the vision, uh, the uh, poise in the pocket, he looks in control. He's the best player on the Bears offense every single week. He's making throws, um, you know, in whatever way they need to, to happen, right? Sometimes it's off his bad foot. Sometimes it's on the run. Whatever the case is, he is getting the job done. Oh, and he's still using his legs, his best asset thus far. So to me, this is exciting. This is amazing stuff. Just wanted to let you guys know that the progress is real. I'm excited, Bears fans. Get hyped. Let's see what happens as the season moves forward. But I'm excited. As always, thanks for watching.